So that's our first video. Um, started with a free rain is pretty good with um, no rains. I, I can ride in riderless. Um, but because he carries his head quite low uh, in dressage, um, yeah, I like to have the reins. Um, he's a very quiet boy, <laughs> very safe. Um, here, hindquarter yield. And he's always a bit stiff in his hindquarters. It, he's actually doing it quite well. Uh, and then I trot because felt like we kind of were losing a bit of energy and now I'm doing a 20 meter circle he needs a lot of warm up because he gets really tight in his I don't know I think it's in his chest and then he blows and some days he needs to blow like 50 times um, so I try and disengage the hind quarters in motion because he looks to the right he's a bit tight to bend to the left so we didn't manage to do that so I stopped did it and then go again I think you can see here, looks to the right. So, the vid I cut the video, but I did quite a few times, which I do regularly on the left disengaged hind quarter, and on the right, his right shoulder falls in. So, I did do a few circles of trot in the right, and then I canter, that's his better lead, because he kind of looks in the direction of travel naturally, but he's got his shoulder dropping in, so I do a lot of making the circle a bit bigger. And on the left lead, to try and get him to look left, I do a bit of a disengage before I ask for the canter. So it's not too bad, but he's... So there's this tightness in his chest. I don't know what it is. And, and he gets a little bit stuck with his energy. So here I try and get him going a bit, so I kind of get up like in a jumping position and I try and get him going. Um, so here going back to the trot kind of forward and he's really good at stopping <laughs> we can just like bridleless do like a s almost sliding stop but maybe not very good for dressage um, so having a bit of a rest and instead of standing still he likes doing things and here we're racing back to the camera because that's a fun game going from A to B getting a bit of energy going rather than doing boring dressage work so now I take that off um, I just ride him in a bosu because he had a lot of issues with putting a bit he was putting his tongue to the side so I started him well, I didn't start him, but the person who started him was with a bit. He was leaning forward on the bit and putting his tongue to the side. Anyway, so now I am doing a bit of working trot. So turning left is tight, and on that particular day, I did a lot of turning left, which eventually I think made the left, left left side look better than the right so I think yeah just still kind of a warm-up and getting some working gates showing some working gates working trot working canna And here I think I give my left hand a little bit to show a bend. I'm going to do it again, yeah. So it feels like it's starting to bend left a little bit more after a warm up. It's very naturally on the forehand. And I lean forward too, so. So, like I'm thinking forward in down transition and. I like thinking a bit of a shoulder in in the transition to try and not be too much on the forehand. Looks like it's a bit of a shoulder in there. Kind of, there we go. Oops. <laughs> Slow him down and turn the corner. 
as opposed to doing circles. And then going deep in the corner. I'm demonstrating it to the right, but because he's dropping his right shoulder, I tend to do it a fair bit on the left too. So I feel he's getting tighter and tighter. I wish I would let him stretch rather than perform what we've got to perform. I feel like he's tightening his chest and finding it hard to breathe. Uh, and that's kind of one of my major thing at the moment. Um, whenever, you know, we, I feel we take a fair bit of time to warm up. And, and some days, this day is not like a typical day, but some days it gets really tight. Anyway, um, so to the point where, um, you know, I do work in equitation and he can do some movements well, but then if I try and combine the movements, he gets tight and I need to literally drop the rein, let him blow, let him stretch. Here I wish I had let him stretch more. Uh, but you know, when you go to a comp, not that I do many comps, you can't just drop the reins, let him stretch. I tried to do that once. I got marked very badly. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's kind of, it's kind of our thing, trying to find, maybe it's, the answer is not here, but. So, so I don't know, you know, kind of, is it linked, the tightness in his hindquarters to the tightness in his chest? So it's a bit frustrating, because I wish, I could let him stretch a bit more and he would happily leave with his head on the ground. Anyway, so here I'm doing walk to canter transitions. I need that a lot. So in working equitation, eventually there's a lot of walk to canter and then change bend, change lead. And forward in the walk transition is definitely a bit of a forward without being on the forehand. So here I try and collect him a bit before the walk so that we kind of almost had like thinking walk as we're cantering and then thinking cantering as we're walking. And now I have made a little break. So then I do more of that on the left lead and then I'll do a figure of eight. So that's usually his easy side, and it's okay. It looks a bit tight, to be honest. Like after all this work on the left side, so I want to be a bit more. Are you ready for Kenta? Are you ready for Kenta? But wait, and now Kenta. Then forward, let's go! Yoo hoo! <laughs> Because he gets really slow in his, in you know, in his transitions. So I don't want him prancing, but I want him ready. And that was not too bad. Pretty good. The right lead's been easier to teach him. The less left lead's been a bit harder. Oops, bit of a trot, but at least it's forwards, and it was actually not too bad. So I think I'm doing the kind of figure eight pattern now. Walk, 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 uh, a little bit stuck in the forward, not too bad. It's kind of a tight circle with his right shoulder has got to turn, so it's a bit hard for him. And you know, I've done a fair bit already, so I'm deciding to stop here. Could have more energy. <laughs> and because, again, is it such a good point? Because we're doing working equitation, there's so much of those tight circles and turning, and you know, it's not Lusitanos, and part of me wants to go much faster, but part of me feels, you know, it just needs to slowly but steady get there. 